Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Source classes and today we are looking at the ISI MSQE 2023 PEA paper question number 13. So given the labor demand and labor supply functions as derived above, the aggregate supply curve output Y supplied as a function of aggregate level price P with Y on the X axis and P on the Y axis of the economy is given by which of the shapes. So if I just take a look at the structure that we are talking about, so we need output on the horizontal axis and we need price on the vertical axis. So using this information, we need to understand the shape of the aggregate supply curve. So if we recall from question 11, we have obtained the labor demand curve as K bar into 1 minus alpha 1 by alpha w by p to the power minus 1 by alpha where alpha lies between 0 and 1 and from question 12 we have obtained the labor supply curve as l bar divided by w by p beta by beta minus 1 plus 1 where beta lies between 0 or 1 for detailed derivation of these two, you all can refer to the videos for these two questions. So using these two information, we need to first understand that how will the labor supply, sorry, the aggregate supply curve of the economy will look like. So if we rewrite the labor demand and labor supply functions in this manner, so K bar 1 minus alpha 1 by alpha p by w to the power 1 upon alpha and the labor supply curve can be written as l bar divided by p by w to the power beta by 1 minus beta plus 1 okay so if you look at the labor demand curve now so if the nominal wage will increase, then P by W to the power 1 minus alpha will fall and the labor demand gradually falls. So it is inversely related to the wage rate. And over here, if you look at it, so if W increases, then the power is a positive power. So P by W falls and labor supply increases and also note one thing for the labor supply curve that if you increase continuously go on increasing the wage that is limit w tends to infinity this will give you l bar that means if i am drawing a small diagram over here where we are taking labor on the horizontal axis and the nominal wage rate on the vertical axis the labor demand curve is negatively sloped. This is LD, but the labor supply curve is initially horizontal, but will gradually become vertical at the point L is equals to L bar. Okay. So that means in the long run, when the word labor supply curve becomes vertical, your aggregate supply curve will also become vertical. Okay, so your correct option for this is option number C, that the aggregate supply curve of this economy is vertical. Thank you.